Hello everyone and welcome back to Getting Wrecked and we are playing Xenonauts today and I'm joined by Cusack the Gamer. Yeah, hello there. Yeah, hello. So you are going to backseat drive today? Yeah, I need to watch some pro <laughs> play this game. <laughs> pro plays, yes. Yeah. Um, so I'm thinking possible it will be just a small scout or a scout today, but we'll see. Hmm. Did okay. you abandon that heavy big ship? Don't yeah, follow. yeah, they ran out of fuel when we got there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, but I should try to deal with this carrier in some way. But so that not... aircraft was like, yeah, I'm just taking a look. <laughs> <I'm going home> <laughs> yeah. <now." laughs> yeah, scaring him off. <laughs> I'm not sure how to deal with uh, the carrier in Africa now because I don't really have. Um, Anyone that can deal with it in, uh, well, my Middle East base. So I'm thinking I should send marauders from America, but that's so far away. But perhaps he turns around and go back. Does it look like it? Three but... hours for them to get to that ship. Yeah. That's quite quick, actually. Yeah, but they would run out of fuel, most likely. Okay, so the range isn't around the world. No, I don't think so. But we'll see. Another. Uh, hmm. Wondering if. Okay. Uh, we should be able to deal with this oh, one though. But he's coming to your base. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he's just doing research, I think. So. But uh, our B team is soon. Oh, he's actually landing. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, can you see that? That is that. Uh, yeah, he did. Ah, okay. <laughs> you have the trusted delay, so. <laughs> I'm starting to check my squad if I should uh, bother with a land landed UFO. But the problem is, it will most likely be in the middle of the night. If they get there by before nightfall, perhaps I do it. But anyway, let's uh, deal with this scout. Hopefully, I, I usually quite, I always go after landed ships, but I'm always scared <laughs> when you're almost right there if they just pop up. <laughs> yeah, fly I, away. I, I know. I try to keep someone there, uh, some fighter or something. <laughs> yeah, I did that last time, but <laughs> the funny stuff is that just before the <laughs> dropship. Uh, came to that mission, my planes was were like, oh, I'm out of fuel, I'm going <laughs> home. <laughs> yeah. And I'm not sure how how it works with uh, like when you get attacked with a troop transport, if everyone have a chance to die or if everyone survives or how it works. I think you lost a troop transport. Yeah, I did. But everyone survived, or how did it work? Yeah, uh, everyone. And I don't know really, but several soldiers got hurt and injured. Yeah. I think no, I, I think everyone survived, but most half of them were, were severely injured and stuff like that. I guess it's uh, something to do with your what kind of uh, difficulty you use, like if you play on normal, perhaps. I don't know. You always have people surviving. I'm not sure how it works with uh, aircrafts either. If there is harder difficulties that will actually make your planes get destroyed from air combat, or yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I've, I've only uh, played normal. <laughs> yeah, the it's... game is hard enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so too. <laughs> Mm. It's a good thing that these reptilians has bad aim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but so so do, does my soldiers. So um, well, I guess I should be able to handle it, but it's standing in the open like a fool. So <laughs> well, it was just a private. So <laughs> yeah, but uh, these uh, scouts is nice that they keep on sending them even late in the game 
because it's so much easier experience, I think. Yeah, you you know what you're facing, not a, not any special units or stuff like that. Yeah, so I think because if you got like uh, a whole ship, if it was possible to get a whole ship with these teleporter guys or things like that, you would, would get screwed <laughs> quite quite quick. Especially if you only bring uh, privateers or something like that. <laughs> yeah. So I don't like the fact that I don't have any shotgunners in this group. Okay, you don't. Uh, no. I really so. like to scout with them because of the reflex bonus. So, I'm not sure. I guess... So what your squad right now? Is it more riflemen instead? Yeah, because I... Since it's my B team, I didn't have any plasma uh, shotguns. So I had to do with plasma rifles instead. Okay. Of a laser shotgun. Didn't you use uh, tanks in your B team? Uh, yeah, but it got destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you haven't re rebuilt it yet. <laughs> no, uh, I'm building one now. Uh, one of the flying ones. But it will take some time before that's ready. Hmm. How did you flying see that? He's hiking <laughs> down <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> behind the, the rock. <laughs> he got x-ray vision. <laughs> I can sense uh, it. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Like I have a shield guy that was pretty close to him but didn't look at the right direction. He's completely unaware of the alien <laughs> covering it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not sure about that. We got some psychic powers, so let's pretend. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you could sniff him out. <laughs> have, have you played that uh, UFO game, what it's called? Um, I think it's called... Yeah, it's called Uf UFO. It's like an XCOM game. Uh, but a little bit newer. A clone or something. Okay, I, I don't know. I played some expansion, no, not expansions, but of course the ordinary XCOM and then the Terror from the Deep. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this was. Sen sen later on, there was uh, some uh, XCOM uh, from the city. Yeah, Ap Apocalypse. Yeah, and I played a l later one with the shields and stuff. Okay. If you remember. Yeah, but that was like from a totally different. Uh, like, okay, it was, yeah. I think. But yeah, it was like one of those games with the shields and... But like the third of that series or something. Mm -hmm. Where you could... Uh, sniff the aliens. <laughs> well, not sniff the aliens, but the aliens could sniff you. Even <laughs> okay. if, but you were, you were playing on Mars. So I'm not sure how they could sniff without air. But uh, <laughs> it's interesting. <laughs> Could really good sensors. <laughs> yeah, so oh. you had to, if you were facing these sniffing aliens, you could use uh, items that removed your scent. Um, but but if you were facing robots and they didn't really care about your scent, uh, your scent, they instead they cared about like infrared or something. Okay. So the different enemies use different uh, sights. Well, that's quite interesting. Actually. Yeah. I think the same for this Androns. I don't usually smoke against Androns. No, I because mean... Because they should see infrared because they're robots. <laughs> yeah, well, one might think so, but it doesn't seem to work that way. <laughs> well, I don't know. At least... Uh, whoa. We'll see a shot in 10 seconds. That's pretty impressive from the private. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so... But oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> I really liked that uh, game in that sense. That, but it was also very frustrating because in uh, this season out game, you get quite frustrated when the aliens can see further than you can see. But in that game, it was even worse because they could sniff you inside houses and stuff, and just they stood outside and threw grenades 
<laughs> all the time, <laughs> just like crazy. So it was quite hard. And they were spot on those grenades. Or yeah, okay. and uh, you had the ability to, to hear them because. Yeah, I, I hear guess someone in throwing space. a grenade. <laughs> yeah, I think <laughs> someone is <here. laughs> Yeah, you could hear stuff in space as well. Uh, oh, that's I guess, even better. <laughs> perhaps there's some atmosphere on Mars, I'm not sure. But uh, anyway, so you could hear the aliens, but you couldn't target something you just hear. But they could target you by sniffing. <laughs> so <laughs> so you were always on the move. Yeah. But then later on you got like psionic... Uh, well, uh, got psionic uh, soldiers and they could feel aliens uh, by the psionic power uh, so and positions like that uh, yeah and they could actually shoot uh, by using the psionic okay so it was a little bit better than sniffing or, or hearing I should say <laughs> I gotcha <laughs> but uh, yeah I think that was an interesting mechanic and uh, they had a lot of stuff really because you could upgrade uh, your weapons and stuff so you could uh, it was like the new XCOM game in which you could choose if you would like to have uh, a scope and stuff so. okay well, that sounds good yeah but uh, it was also very RPG uh, in a way because you only had uh, because you were playing on Mars, you had those uh, only those people that were on Mars. It was like a colony with perhaps thirty people or something. <laughs> okay. So permadeath <laughs> in that scenario is not very good. <laughs> <laughs> Lost man standing. <laughs> yeah. I think oh, that you... was a nice shot from Kate. <laughs> yeah. It's not machine gun Kate in uh, the B team, it's uh, sniper Kate, so... <laughs> oh, you don't want to be behind those grenades, damn. <laughs> no, no, thank you. This is the last tier of grenades, I guess, I have now. I guess it's, it's called fusion grenades yeah. or something. <laughs> so, seem to be quite effective. At least more effective than uh, missing pistol shots with... Uh, Gregory Kalashnikov here, but <laughs> let's try aim shot with uh, the private. He seems to be lucky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All miss. <laughs> nice. Oh, know. that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. I like the fact that um, Machine Gun Kate has killed a couple of my own guys <laughs> with her. She had. Okay. <laughs> But, uh, you were always so careful with your heavy <laughs> in the beginning. Yeah, but that doesn't help all the time. No, no. But I had uh, one of my soldiers the last mission I did. The episode that isn't up yet. <laughs> okay. But you know Monkey Boy? Yeah. <laughs> he had a good reaction fire on my soldier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it would be quite fun to try to use reactionary shots more. I'm mostly trying to stay out of line of sight instead of having people on guard, but it feels so unsafe to use reactionary fire. Yeah, I think I'm using more guard than trying to be safe, <laughs> actually. I'm yeah. always trying to have someone taking the heat. Yeah. So I can control the heat some. Somewhere. Yeah, um, uh, it's. I think I'm too afraid of taking shot uh, or getting shot at. But the problem is, if you get shot by a normal rifle, that's okay. But if they use these plasma cannons, then you're just, then you're just dead. So. Yeah, those cannons. It's. Have you learned how to spot the difference? Not uh, really, <laughs> but. Uh... Because those cannons and. The, those uh, assault weapons, they're quite quite similar in appearance. Yeah. And especially since it feels like they look d different between the different aliens and the different, even different ranks of aliens. Yeah. <laughs> but I think they have like made all these... A small casing with a big ass cannon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
But I, I remember they have all these graphics are like sprites that are handmade. So if they're going to change how th something looks, they have to change on everyone. So yeah, that, every, every that, that won't happen. <laughs> yeah, every single frame of animation needs to be <laughs> re uh, redone. So for quite some time, there was like no. Um, wasn't even any graphics for people with shields if they had uh, the jack armor or something. Then the, dis okay. the shield just disappeared. Yeah, I but remember that one. <laughs> the shield just said, <laughs> <laughs> but it always came back afterwards. It was the, as you said, the animation. Yeah, but it's still some animation bugs. Yeah, I think if you vault over things sometimes. You guys just change weapon or change armor or something if they jump over a fence. Or when they shoot, they can uh, <laughs> okay. face a different direction and shoot 90 <laughs> degrees. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've been I've encountered that bug several times. An alien uh, watching to the left and <laughs> shoots to the south. <laughs> yeah. That, okay. That happens in uh, the new XCOM games as well. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> It's too bad with the new XCOM games, it's quite fun actually, but you lose the concept by building a base and stuff like that. Yeah, the well, micromanagement is almost uh, gone. Yeah, you, you al always get an option. You want to do this mission or this mission? <laughs> yeah. Have you tried the long war options? Or? No, no, no. I, will, I don't think I will try it. It will be a uh, 200 episode <laughs> series. <laughs> yeah, it's. I think Marble series still. Yeah, and that's like his first or. Yeah, no, uh, no it's the second. Sec second one. After an uh, patch update or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So we didn't even finish it. Hmm. Yeah, but uh, I mean, I played it quite a long quite a long time but it's so slow like the normal XCOM <laughs> you get bored with in the late game when you're yeah. just grinding missions yeah and uh, it's the same thing with the long war it's even worse yeah th that's the lacking thing about these games is that they forget about progress they just you need to face these aliens now they come more often and you can't progress so much mm. anymore because you like to upgrade your soldiers all the time and get better mm. and you like to face harder difficulty all the time but yeah. at some point it's just okay my my soldier is much better and if one soldier die it's just because some <laughs> yeah ob obviously bullshit thing happened <laughs> something like that <laughs> yeah it's like well one in twenty missions, you will get unlucky, or some bullshit will happen, and you will just lose yeah. a soldier. But that's it. It's not because it's getting more difficult or anything like that. It's just like well, chance. Well, it it's probably is, uh, because two things: you get impatient after yeah. some time. Yeah, that's true as well. Just to rush in and yeah, let's get this done a little quick. <laughs> yeah. So I'm not sure about that, but. Have you uh, ever had an alien uh, behind you before? Uh, I don't think so. I've had two aliens so far behind you before. Alright. Lurking about. Was that a large UFO or was it just a small uh, one? Like this one. Okay. I think I had like one but that was like his almost just to the side or something, not really... Okay. Do you remember the old <laughs> beta? <laughs> Of this game where they always were two <laughs> aliens behind the UFO. Yeah, <laughs> every single time you knew that okay, there's someone camping behind the UFO, <laughs> and that was so dangerous because you have no protection <laughs> going towards that spot. Yeah, and it's the same thing with uh, like your landing uh, ship because I always in the beginning checked around it because that was also something that could happen, that there was aliens really, really close to it. <laughs> but they uh, seem to have fixed that at least. 
So this mission uh, went really uh, quite good. <laughs> yeah, but it's a little bit too easy, I think, when it's a scout like this. Three injured though, but... Oh, don't you have any medical bay? I guess not. <laughs> Five uh, days for only nine HP. <laughs> mm, yeah, because we didn't take any damage this <laughs> mission, so they are still <laughs> injured from something else. Oh, the B team, they are <laughs> struggling. <laughs> yeah, perhaps I should actually check if I have a... Oh, I have no medical center here. I wonder how much one costs. I think they're 50. quite cheap. Yeah, it's, it's just a space, but I'm not even using the space, so it doesn't really... And I think the upkeep is quite cheap too. Yeah. Nothing to worry about. Might be worth it. Oh, you have defense. Yeah, B team, B -team doesn't. Uh, I'm not uh, <laughs> confident with their. In the, I'm not sure if I have should I play this game again. I don't think I should have um, soldiers in my like in this base in my uh -huh, okay. in my uh, third uh. base because they cost a lot of money every month. Yeah. So I'm I'm not going to have. Soldiers in my third base. It's just going to be an outpost for shooting yeah. down new foes, yeah. and and I will do as you have built there with three cannons, maybe four, to mm. be able to defend, deflect everything. Yeah, I think four is enough for everything, almost guaranteed. Do, uh, do you know if the turrets uh, automatically improves yeah, when you improve in tech? They do. Okay, nice. And I, and I mean the upkeep for one of these. It's just like the upkeep of one soldier, so I guess I mean I have nine soldiers in my third okay. base. So have, they, have I, they ever done a mission? Nope, <laughs> they are just on defense. And they don't have any <laughs> real gear, <laughs> so <laughs> I guess there are some plasmas uh, laying about. But they're so, going to be cannon fodder. <laughs> yeah, try to defend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it would be easy if you played without Iron Man because then you could just save scum <laughs> and do reloads all the time. But... Yeah, so let's make this shot again. <laughs> yeah. Okay, no, load. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so I will finish this part out now, but thank you for <laughs> keeping me company while I <laughs> no beat, beat a scout in the <laughs> late game. So. <laughs> you show you showed me how to <laughs> play this game now. Yeah, exactly. Now I, I know that you have uh, struggling with these scouts in your <laughs> season three. <laughs> Absol absolutely, many scouts have killed me. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah. We'll see if um, I get to face this carrier during the night. That might be an interesting mission the next time. But I hope they get there before night time. We could always hope. Yeah. But uh, thank you for watching, and uh, I will see you later. And thank you, Cusack the Gamer. Thanks, thanks. Yeah, check him out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See you.